Hey guys, this is Greg, Dogs and Doubles. As you can see, I'm up here today pooling auctions. We're checking out all the great guns. I brought uh, Sky along, she wanted to see some too. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna pick out some of my favorites and I'm gonna tell you all about them. Uh, so let's go inside and check it out. Hey folks, this is Greg at Dogs and Doubles and I'm here today at Poolin Auctions, Fairfield, Maine. And uh, we're looking at some guns they have in their upcoming sale, uh, which is, starts on October 20th, this Saturday. And the guns we have right here are, uh, this is, these are the American classics. These are Parkers. Um, they're both DHE grades. Uh, so they're similar guns in a lot of ways, but they're also very, very different. This gun right here is an original Parker DHE. This gun was made in the 20s and it was made by Parker Brothers in Connecticut. Well, this gun we have right here is a Parker reproduction. This gun was actually made in Japan, but it is an excellent reproduction of the original Parker. In a lot of ways, for today's shooters, this gun's a, a better choice. We're going to take a closer look at these and uh, we'll talk about what makes them different. So Parkers are the classic American double, and if you're a grouse hunter, you've heard about them and you've probably wanted one, and uh, you've probably looked at a lot of them online. Um, and the reason they're so popular is they're just nice, they're great guns, they're well made, they're reliable, um, and they're just nice to see. Uh, they're great looking. Um, Parker was around for a long time. They started out in the eight, 1860s. Um, they made guns up until right after World War II. Um, so you see a lot of them out there. I think they made 240,000 Parkers. Um, the hammerless ones, like you see here, came about in the 1890s. And this is a DHE gray, like I said. And that was sort of the, uh, the middle of their graded guns, their upper graded guns. This gun would have been custom ordered in its day. And it still has a lot of original finish on it, which makes it uh, just nice to see. Um, nice to handle. You think about a gun, this gun's from the 20s, something that old that still has that type of finish. Um, has a lot of, uh, you know, sentiment, sentimentality to it. Um, and it's a lot of what makes it appealing. Something else that makes this gun appealing too is it's on what's called a one and a half frame, this specific one right here. Um, so Parkers were made on different size uh, frames, different size actions. And as the numbers got bigger, the size of the action got bigger and the gun got heavier. Most 12s, this is a 12, were on number two frames. This is a one and a half. So this was a lightweight 12 that someone custom ordered. Um, and it's just a nice gun. You could, it's light enough uh, that you could use it for grouse hunting. You could carry it all day. Wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but it's also because it's a 12, it's versatile enough to take out uh, and use on pheasants. So it's just a, just a great all around gun if you want a vintage American double. So this one we have here, this is the 28 gauge. This is the reproduction. Um, and you can see the guns themselves, they're very similar. The engraving's uh, pretty much the same. Uh, the action of the design, these, are, these reproductions are exactly the same as the original Parkers. Um, they just uh, used different wood a lot of times. This is a Clara walnut rather than uh, a French walnut. Um, and they're modern guns. They were made with modern steels. Um, and in a 28 gauge, this little gun here uh, is much more affordable than an original Parker DHE 28 gauge. Um, a gun like this it probably bought for four or five thousand dollars. An original one's probably thirty thousand uh, dollars. So that's why guys like them. Um, you can take this gun out. You can start hunting with it right away. Um, you can have all the Parker mystique, uh, but without a lot of the headaches, uh, a lot of the problems that come with them. Um, and they're just fun guns to shoot. The specific one, it's a two barrel set. has 26 inch barrels and 28 inch barrels. Um, so you have a little variety. Uh, and you can pretty much do anything with a double like this. Perfect for quail, perfect for grouse. Uh, I'd love to have one just like it. And like I said, both of these guns, they're coming up at Poolin Auctions. Uh, they're going to be in their sale that starts this Saturday, October 20th. Uh, if you're interested in them, you can go on their website, Poolin Auctions, or Poolin, uh, yeah, PoolinAuctions.com. You can check them out. You can see pictures of them, find out more about them. And you can range a bid. You can bid online. Uh, you can bid over the phone. Or you could uh, actually come up here to Fairfield, Maine. Uh, see the guns for yourself and uh, sit in the audience and bid on them. Uh, if you end up winning one of them, you're going to have a great gun and you're going to have a great time using it. And to find out more about uh, you know, guns like we've just been talking about, other great doubles from Parkers to Foxes, uh, Bosses, Sours, uh, be sure to visit my site, dogsanddoubles.com. Um, my blog has all sorts of pictures, all sorts of information. And if you have a gun and you want to find out more about it, feel free to drop me an email, greg at dogsanddoubles.com. 
Uh, I can do everything from telling you uh, about its history, how much it's worth, and I can even tell you the best ways to sell it and get the most money for it. So uh, check out dogsanddoubles.com. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.